My name is Mopilala Akinlaja. I'm completing my PhD in biochemistry and molecular biology under the supervision of Professor Leonard Foster. And my presentation is on peeking into the honeybee gut, understanding Nosema infection in honeybees. Did you know that one in every three bites of food you eat is thanks to honeybee pollination? Honeybees are essential, not only to our ecosystem, but to agriculture and revenue production all across the globe. This is why it's been sad to see the decline in honeybee health due to various emerging pests and pathogens. In particular, I want to highlight this highly infective spore shown in the middle panel here called Nosema. Nosema infects the guts of honeybees by weakening their immune system, making them not only sick, but susceptible to other potentially fatal diseases. An infected worker bee can have as many as 50 million of these spores in her gut. This is why Nosema infection has been identified as one of the most prevalent honeybee diseases all around the world. What's even worse is we don't know how Nosema infects the honeybee gut, nor do we currently have any safe treatments against the disease. And so for my PhD thesis, I wanted to understand how Nosema infects the honeybee gut. And to do this, I decided to look at the protein interaction network. You see, bees, like other organisms, are made up of proteins, which are the functional products of genes. So a gene contains instructions, and the protein linked to that gene carries out these instructions. But proteins don't do this alone. Rather, they collaborate with other proteins to make this happen. And we can draw a wiring diagram to represent this relationship, like I've shown on the right panel. We call this the interactome. So when a bee gets sick, this interactome gets disrupted because whatever it is that's making the bee sick is interfering with the protein interactions. So for me to better understand how Nosema infection changes the honeybee gut interactome, I first needed to know what that interactome looked like. So I decided to take a peek. I dissected a few honeybee guts from our colonies, and then I separated out the interacting proteins using a method called chromatography. After this, I identified all the proteins in my sample using a powerful analytical tool called mass spectrometry. Then, I used a series of computer-based algorithms to predict which proteins were interacting with which proteins, kind of like assembling pieces of a puzzle together. And with this, I was able to get the first ever peek at the honeybee gut interactome. Now, this is very exciting, not only because I can now use this information I've gained and the resource I've built to better understand how Nosema infection changes the honeybee gut interactome, but other scientists like myself can ask other interesting questions as well. I'm very happy to know that the work I've done towards my PhD thesis is going to be very important in identifying potential treatment targets in the development of safer, better therapies to treat Nosema in honeybees. Thank you.